If you were wanting to convert your Epson EcoTank printer into a sublimation printer, you're not going to want to miss this video. Hey, what is going on? The printer guy here. And in this video, I wanted to talk to you about converting your current Epson EcoTank printer into a sublimation printer. What are some of the pros and cons of doing so and actually how to do it? I'm going to be getting to all of that here in this video. So you're not going to want to miss. You can stay tuned throughout the entire video. But if you'd like to skip around, there are some video chapters at the bottom of this screen. If this video ends up being helpful, please make sure to like the video any questions at all comment below and if you want more content like this please make sure to subscribe all right so turning your current epson ecotank printer into a sublimation printer is a really good idea but you do need to know some of the uh, drawbacks and some of the benefits of doing so and some other information along the way that will help you with uh, making the decision of whether or not to convert your current epson ecotank printer into a sublimation printer now we are coming into this with the assumption that you currently have regular ink in your Epson EcoTank printer. And so how do we get that ink out of there and put in sublimation ink? I will be talking about that process in just a few moments, but I do want to talk about some of the pros and cons of doing this. So you can either skip ahead. There is an entire video where I actually give you instructions. I'll be linking that video somewhere here on this video or in the description below. So one of the pros of converting your current Epson EcoTank printer into a sublimation printer is that it is cost effective. You won't have to buy a new printer for sublimation prints. Uh, you currently have the printer and that usually is the biggest cost or at least half of the cost uh, that you would need to spend in order to start printing sublimation prints. That is uh, printing on sublimation paper with sublimation ink. Now I'm going to be referring to sublimation ink throughout this video. I'm going to be linking it down in the description below. This is best printers certified sublimation ink. That's what we use here on this channel and do stand by the quality of the product. So another pro of uh, doing this type of sublimation ink conversion with your Epson EcoTank printer, you can really get started right away. You don't have to wait for a purchase. You don't have to wait uh, to get the new printer in and unbox it. You're already familiar with that printer. And so all you're doing is transitioning the ink, uh, but you already are familiar with all the programming and it's already probably you have the driver downloaded onto your computer. And that really puts you at an advantage uh, when it comes to uh, starting your sublimation journey. Uh, one of the cons of converting your Epson EcoTank printer into a sublimation printer is that you now no longer can print regularly with that printer. So once you've made the conversion, there is no going back, or at least you could do a conversion back to it, uh, but uh, the conversion is a process that you don't want to do frequently. It's a complicated process. And so really you have to plan on when you do this conversion, you are going to use sublimation ink or you're going to use regular ink. And so if you didn't have another regular printer with regular ink, then doing this conversion may not be viable for you. But if you have multiple printers in the home and you can pull up, maybe you have an old inkjet printer that you can uh, pull up and use that one and then the epson eco tank printer that you have can be used as sublimation that would be a really good option all right so that's just a little bit of food for thought there are some other pros and cons but i don't want to get too deep into it so yes you can convert your epson eco tank printer from regular ink into sublimation ink there are just some things to consider of course you need to buy the sublimation ink that's linked down in the description below but basically the process to do this conversion i have a whole video that'll take you step by step but really quickly to explain here in this video and i'll be linking that video down in the description below or somewhere here on this video what you're doing is you are taking a syringe kit so i sell a cleaning kit and this cleaning kit has all the attachments you would need to actually take apart the print head system and the ink system that this printer has and you would be able to essentially with a syringe suction out the ink from the ink tanks and then do a cleaning on the print head because the way that your Epson EcoTank works is there's a tank, there are ink veins that run to a print head. And so to do this process, you have to empty out those veins and the tank. And that's where you would connect an attachment with uh, that comes from the kit onto the, the vein and you would suction all of that ink out and then you would uh, do a cleaning on the actual print head. So you would push cleaning fluid through the print head and that would give you a 100% cleaned and cleared printer of all regular ink. So then all you would do is then install the sublimation ink and from there, 
the printhead would be charged with that sublimation ink. There would no longer be regular ink in there, and you can begin printing with sublimation prints. Now, you may need to do several test prints and make sure that the quality is there and that the prints are full before you actually start using the sublimation paper with the sublimation ink to do the sublimation uh, prints or sublimation conversions or sublimation transfers onto the media that you end up transferring onto. Let's say it's a t-shirt. So I actually did this with an Epson Eco Tank 2400. I bought the Epson Eco Tank 2400 with the intention of doing this. Although yes, I installed regular ink initially, but then I did the conversion later on. I've been able to do sublimation printing successfully um, multiple times and the quality is excellent. And so this conversion that I did was successful. You can see here up on the screen uh, what I was able to sublimate onto with this printer that I did the conversion on. And so if this is an option that you are looking at, it is a very good option. You just need the right information because like I said, there are some other processes uh, online that you can follow. Uh, this I believe is the best process because it's going to give you the best results when it comes to clearing out all of the old ink and then putting in new sublimation ink and it and then that conversion being uh, totally completed. Now it does take some legwork suctioning the old ink out it does take some time and patience Take a day or two to go through that process. Watch the video that I have linked down below or somewhere here on the screen. Take your time going through step by step. And if you have any questions at all, of course, you can comment below on this video and on uh, the other video, of course, as well. This is one of the most cost effective ways I have found to get into sublimation printing. I did a video, a uh, beginner's guide on sublimation printing, where uh, my setup cost under $400. You know, a big portion of that was the printer itself, uh, but it cost just under $200. So if you could even get a used Epson EcoTank printer off of eBay for a really good price, maybe $100, $125, uh, that really puts you at an advantage if you are needing to actually convert uh, if you're actually not wanting to convert the current Epson EcoTank you have, you could buy something used and honestly, as long as there are no error codes, you can do the conversion on that printer and not risk your main printer. You can now remove the sublimation paper itself and also remove the tape. Uh, as you can see, we had an excellent uh, sublimation that occurred. Uh, that means that the ink that was on the paper was able to transfer onto the t-shirt. This design does pair up with a little sister a onesie and there's another video for that as well. But in this video, I'm just focusing on this 3T size and really can go a little bit higher or lower. And we have a perfect design uh, that is able to be sublimated onto the shirt. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, please make sure to like the video. Any questions at all, comment below. If you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching until the end of this video. I handpicked two videos that are here on the screen for you to watch next. Also consider subscribing to this channel. There's so much helpful content for you if you're a printer owner, and it's just good to have a resource like this for you in the future, whether you're dealing with a printer that's not printing well or you need more printer recommendations. So I look forward to seeing you again in another video.